The King County Sheriff's Office is searching for five teens who escaped a youth detention center in Snoqualmie. Deputies say that they assaulted staff in the parking lot of the Echo Glen Children's Center, then stole a car to make their daring escape. One of those teens is a convicted murderer who shot someone at random several years ago. King Fives Chris Daniels spoke with the Sheriff's Office today. And Chris, this detention center has had some problems recently, right? Yeah, all sorts of problems, Joyce, in the last decade. And as we first reported at 4 o'clock, one of the escapees is a convicted killer, a 15-year-old who shot and killed a man at random in Burien back in 2020. Police here in King County now saying he escaped along with four other boys, attacked some employees at the correctional facility, stole a car, and is on the run tonight. Nestled in the woods, the Echo Glen Children's Center houses some of the most troubled teens in our state, designed to be a rehabilitation center for youth. But today is the center of a regional manhunt. We do know that they used force to overcome uh, those staff members here. King County Sheriff's deputies say the search has been on since just before 8 this morning, when they say the five teens assaulted the staff and stole a state-owned car. One of the teens, a 15-year-old boy convicted of murder. King Five first told you about his case in 2020, when just 13 years old, he shot and killed a random stranger on this Burien Road, later telling detectives he did it because he was depressed. How the teens escaped so easily is another question. Echo Glen has been the scene of multiple escapes. In 2012, a group of kids were able to wiggle away, and there have been other cases since. In each incident, the teens were eventually rearrested. But right now, that isn't the case. They do represent some harm to our community. We need to get them identified and get them back in custody. Another escape, another issue at this correctional facility, which has unfortunately seen this story happen before. And we are told that the terms of that 15 year old sentencing was to house him here in Snoqualmie until he turned 21 years old. Now, let's give you a look at the car as described police that is believed that this teen and the four others drove away from Echo Glen in. It is a state owned 2018 blue Ford Fusion Washington license plate 27545E. That is a story as we know it live tonight near Snoqualmie. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.